Hey, happy 2021, am I right? So today I wanted to hang out with you guys, just kind of, you know, answer some questions about what's been going on. Obviously I just got out of the shower and I just don't want to be ugly, you know, today. Maybe I want to take some photos, like some lingerie photos for OnlyFans or whatever, because I do that now. <laughs> I feel like there's just so much that's happened in the past couple of months, if you haven't noticed. A lot of you have. So we're going to be talking about all the tea. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions and you did. No one really held back. I'm just doing my skincare right now. A little hyaluronic acid moam and then also some niacinamide because why not? I hear it's good. I kind of just put it on like my acne scars and stuff and my redness, but I only put it on sometimes because I think it's supposed to help that and my pores. Probably should have done it first. That's fine. Too late now. How are we feeling? I'm feeling batshit crazy. <laughs> Very weird sign note, but Glam Glow sent me this uh, moisturizer. It's the super water gel triple acid oil free moisturizer And I've been loving it. So if you like moisturizers check this one out I have like combination skin. So I don't know I think it's so dry that it oils, you know, so I try to use a lot of moisturizing stuff I also want to use like some like new products today But we'll see if that happens or how much of that will happen because I need a new foundation That's the only thing I really don't have like a new fun thing of just kind of sad, but whatever I also got a spray tan like a couple weeks ago. That doesn't make sense. No, I got a spray tan a couple days ago. Also, where's the lighting good? Can't really find her, but it's fine. The lighting in my bathroom is just weird. And then if like I make better lighting, then this fan turns on and it's really annoying. So we're not gonna do that. Also, my roller ball is not that cold. I've been using this a lot, a lot lately. <laughs> but I always use it on my cheekbones because it really just makes my filler go back into place. What? Filler? Also, do you guys want to see my filler video? I like did like a whole, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw how many times I was like going over to 7Q Spa, my favorite place ever to get injectables <laughs> and a lot more than that. But your girl is gonna need some Botox soon. Do you see that? I shouldn't be able to do that because I don't want wrinkles. Just girly things. <laughs> All right, skincare's done. Let's sit down and start getting into it, I guess. I'm scared. Ah, it's fine. Okay. I also just realized that I definitely need to fix my hair before we get into anything because that just looked not cute. And neither does this. Dude, I swear I hate having a fucking weave. I hate it. Obviously gotta use my function of beauty. Leave in this stuff makes my hair so much better. How's your guys' 2021 been? Mine's been a mission. Got some new roommates. Couple roommates probably like left, honestly, kinda. I've been trying to get back into like my routine again because I fell off for a while. The amount of laundry that I've been doing in the past month is overwhelming. Finally, my closet is empty, but it was, I couldn't even walk in. I dead ass, it was like stacked up to here. So it's been a fun process. I literally like gave up today. I was like, you know what? I literally can't do it anymore. I've done a hundred loads and there's still 200 left. So I'm having a company come pick some up tonight in like three hours. It's so weird. I hate like that the sun goes down so early. Just, it's so depressing. And so I've been trying to wake up earlier. Even if you wake up at 10 a.m., you still don't get enough daylight. And I'm like very much a daylight person. Like I get happy from the sun and that's it. Um, but yeah, so I already worked out today. I just felt like shit this morning. Me and my baby. No, I'm kidding. I'm not pregnant. Throwing that out there. No, but I just like, my stomach's just been so fucked lately. Um, <laughs> but I've been trying to eat like correct foods and I'm getting back into like doing macros But on the weekends, I just I slip up, you know because we work on big days and on weekends Me and my friends drink too much. We swear we're like never gonna like drink ever again <sighs> And then we just do because quarantine like what the fuck else are you supposed to do? Just me probably also I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a minute like my last video that I posted compared to this tea that we're about to get into pretty interesting I'm also starving so I kind I kind of want to get glam quick so that we can make some like, what are we feeling? Salmon? I've been eating a lot of salmon. Oh, it feels so good to eat like food. I've been trying not to like postmate food anymore just cause like I gained some weight girl the past couple of months, like with holidays especially too. We went to Denver, Colorado for Christmas and did not eat one single good food item there. Like, I don't know, we, I guess like the area that we were in was maybe weird. And like, we didn't want to make a whole Christmas dinner cause it's like, we were at like an Airbnb and it's just like, we would have had to buy like so many things and it would have been wasteful. So we went out to a restaurant that had like a little Christmas menu, but it was like very last minute It was like the only place that would like 
let us in. They're like, everyone's like, no, we're booked. What are you talking about? We're like, okay, sorry. And it was already like a small town that like we went to, I think. I don't know. Brackenridge. Not my area. Yeah, the food that we ate there, I took one bite of the turkey and I swear to God it tasted like dog food. So I'm trying to get back in the gym, which has been so good because um, your girl was looking fluffy for a little bit. How long could I brush my hair for? Like what? Sorry. Let me focus for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, hi. Hair is done. Does anyone else like keep doing this like hair look where you just like put that shit in a clip and like call it a day? Cause like, what are you gonna do? Blow dry your hair? It's just gonna be like this the whole time. <laughs> whatever. Oh yeah, like I'm not gonna like blow dry and straighten my hair every day. It's quarantine, babe. I don't leave my house. And for all those fucking people, there's a lot of you who think that I leave my house and go to parties. You're psycho. <laughs> me? No. Hell no. I know some people are doing that shit, but that ain't me. Where do I even start? I feel like I should probably do my eyebrows off camera because it just takes me way too goddamn long and like I'm just not gonna put you through that. So I will see you when my eyebrows are done. I need a different chair. That chair was really pissing me off. <laughs> All right, but we're back. I'm just gonna start getting into questions, I guess. I'm kind of nervous. Probably gonna save the best for last. Oh, and this chair is just gonna go down, huh? I'm sinking. Gotta go find another chair because I'm literally sinking. Okay, well this one's not gonna sink because it's literally a metal stool. <gasps> It's just not my day to day. And like, why is this loose? You're a tripod, you have one job, stay. Oh, my nose itches. Beauty blenders are wet, we are back in business. Okay, so should we get into some questions? I'm kind of nervous. Let's see. Oh no, we can't go into that one yet. We can start with this. Oh, Nico Villacrezes. I used to go to middle school with him. Hi, Nico. Nico asked, what are your five year goals? I think maybe he was saying five new year goals. I can't even think about like five years from now. Like what, what I want. I don't like to think about the future. It scares me <laughs> because I mean, my life just moves so fast and changes very rapidly. As you might've noticed, like the things that happen in five minutes in my life are, there's just a lot. So five years, I can't even begin to think, but maybe we'll skip that question. I don't know. Also, I'm honestly doing my eyes first because I don't know if I have a foundation that matches and I already think that this concealer is going to be too light. I feel like it'll come together. I like doing my eyes first because then you can like really just like wipe off like the weird extra outer part if that makes sense and then it looks clean. All right next question. Someone asked who is your current manager? Still Jordan. Yes Jordan is still my manager. I don't know why he wouldn't be. Yeah that's that on that. I don't really know what else to say. I mean I like I get people are like confused because like Jordan is not Tana's manager anymore but I'm not Tana. So <laughs> yeah. Well, we're getting into some real tea real quick. What did Bella actually do to you? Like, how was she a bitch to you? I'm so invested in this whole thing. Assuming you're talking about Bella Thorne because, you know, I filmed a video with my friends talking shit about Bella Thorne because she's a fucking asshole. Has always been an asshole to me. Has never not been an asshole to me. I'm a nice fucking girl. And you know, I didn't like want to make a shit talking video, but Tana did. And I was like, well, I mean, I have nothing good to say. You know, it's just like, I'm one of those like, oh, if you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. But like, I got forced into the video, but also I've had only bad experiences with Bella Thorne. I don't know, she was just never nice to me. I think it was like a weird thing, like, cause I was Tana's best friend and she was Tana's like girlfriend. I don't know, I feel like Tana's girlfriends sometimes think that like, we low key fuck and like, no, I'm the straightest person alive. I'm gonna touch Tana with a 10 foot pole. You know what I mean? Sexually at least. <laughs> I like dick, I don't know, don't, don't know what to say. So yeah, when people treat me like differently or like when Tana's girlfriends treat me differently for being her best friend like I'm confused let's say you're dating someone guy girl whatever and they have a best friend wouldn't that like become your best friend in a way or like wouldn't you become good friends with them to be nice and like supportive of your girlfriend or maybe that's just a nice girl thing which she was not. I also don't know what like look I'm kind of going for today. I'm just gonna figure it out as we go. Like I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, but also Nikita's new palette, super cute as well. But I kind of just want like a very like neutral eye as if I do anything else ever. Yeah, I don't know. Bella Thorne was a fucking cunt to me every time. We literally went on a trip to Hawaii together and she didn't even want to speak to me once. Like she would just like look through me. And then she would talk to my boyfriend at the time. She would talk to him no problem, but me, oh no. I always like Zendaya better anyways. 
basically to wrap up the Bella thing, treat others how you want to be treated. I was nice to her and she wanted to be a piece of shit, so now I'm being a piece of shit. I even bought her a fucking birthday cake once. No, thank you. Not even like a smile, really. She's like, mm -hmm. She literally had a food fight with it. I was like, all right, thank you so much for letting me come to your party. Anyways, let's do a little inner corner eye moment. My friend Solomon asked, why don't you be me in the middle? I don't really know what this is referring to, but I prefer, you know, the left side of the bed. I don't know why you'd meet someone in the middle. It doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of like one of those people that just like go all or nothing. So like, I'm not gonna meet you halfway. I'm probably gonna meet you literally there. You know, like why would, I don't get it. All right, sorry. I had to do my eye makeup off camera because I can't do all that. I am not a beauty guru, just a little bit, you know? But before we get on to the rest of the tea in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about our sponsor of this video being Glamnetic. Glamnetic is a viral magnetic lash and liner brand. I've been seeing them all over the internet. I've been wanting to try these for literally like a year now. So I finally got my hands on some. Also kind of really excited because they're a new female founded brand. Love that. These are perfect for girls who aren't really good at applying lashes because apparently they're really easy to put on and also girls that don't want to deal with annoying ass lash glue. The amount of lashes that I would have saved. Are you kidding? Lashes these days are like $30 and like sometimes they get ruined in one use because of lash glue. But here there's no lash glue. So that is why I'm so excited to try these today. Let's put these bad boys on and see what the rave is about. Okay, so obviously the packaging alone is literally so cute. It's like little like text messages and like the style of the lash is like the response to the text message, which is really cute. But they also have like the VIP ones that come in like cute little sparkly packaging, so cute. But one of the craziest and smartest things I've ever seen is the packaging is literally, look. Also my hands are really shaky. I did have a lot of coffee today. Okay, but like the sickest thing, so genius. The packaging is literally magnetic. So the lash just goes right back in its place. There's no fuss. Are you kidding? I lose my lashes everywhere because they get stuck to things from the freaking glue. So I'm happy. And the liner is also waterproof. Not only that, but they have over 50 styles of lashes and they're reusable up to 40 times. All right, so I already did like a little eyeliner base just because I suck at it. So now I'm gonna put their little paraben free magnetic liner right on top of that. Let's see. Okay, but like I'm not even capping. I had to literally pause to say this. This eyeliner is the best eyeliner I've ever used probably in my life. I'm not paying me to say that, but wow. It's literally like gliding over my eyes so perfectly and easily, but also it's so pigmented. Are you kidding? <gasps> That's probably the best wing I've ever done myself. Not to toot my own horn or anything. I don't know what it is about this tip, but like, she's good. She's a good girl. Wow, okay. New favorite eyeliner check. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye. I'll be right back. Okay, now we got liner on both eyes. Love this eyeliner. Okay, so now time for the lash. So I guess Glamnetic has the world's first six magnet lash to allow for maximum hold. Do you see the six little magnets? You can like kind of see them. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yay. So I guess all you have to do is apply the eyeliner and then just magnetize the lash. So let's Let's see if this works. Okay, I just realized I should probably definitely put on some mascara so that they like blend in a little bit more. So I'm gonna go do that and then we'll put the lashes on. Okay, so now that the mascara is on, let's see what these lashes are all about. Ah, I'm so excited. Are you kidding? Did you see that? How they just took a millisecond? Okay, for sure. So I guess we'll just do the other one now. What? Do you see how easy th these are going on? It's like, hi, I just got ready in five seconds. Are you kidding? This liner literally has an all day wear power and it's super strong. Like, can you see? Like I'm seriously pulling on the lashes and they're not coming off. These ones are cute. I used, Ooh. yeah, I used XOXO today. So cute, highly recommend. All right, so if you guys do wanna check out Glamnetic and use my code Ashley for 20% off site-wide, I highly recommend because these are amazing. My new go-to lash for sure. <laughs> and as always, I will be leaving a link in the description that you guys can click on to check them out. All right, back to the rest of the video and into some more tea. Okay, next question. So while we get into foundation, I'm just gonna do like a light foundation, like Laura Mercier, cause like who cares, you know? Not me. Someone asked, what is the best vacation you have been on? And honestly, Honestly, best and worst, when me and all my friends went to Cabo when we were like 18, that was probably the best vacation just because it was literally like everyone I still live with and more obviously and I don't know, there, there was just so many good memories. We had a blast. Ended horribly, but I did have a really fun time with all my friends there. And Hawaii, when Tana, Amari, and I went to Hawaii for Christmas, and yes, I'm, I'm using my hands, I don't know, okay? I'm lazy. Like, three years ago? I feel like that was also really cute and wholesome, but I'll never forget. 
get Cabo. That shit was crazy. If you know, you know, especially from the drunk video at that table. Smasher Pass, maybe? Was it that? The good old days, you know? When we were all still innocent. I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. Worked so hard to go on that vacation, too. So cute and wholesome. Next question. What's your favorite clothing brand? I really don't have, like, a favorite clothing brand. I feel like I just buy stuff from literally everywhere. That's a toughie. Like, you never really see me rocking, like, just one brand ever. Also, I sounded like, like my mom. Like, my mom would say that. You never just see me rocking. Like, what? How has COVID affected you? COVID has given me major, major anxiety. It's been, like, crazy. Like, I, I, my hands are always, like, shaking from how much anxiety I have. That's why I'm, like, trying to, like, eat good and, like, work out and feed my body with good things and do good things for my body to try to relieve my anxiety. But, like, I just have, like, a weird anxiety now. And, like, I can't even... Driving used to be my favorite thing to do in the world. But now, since, like, COVID, I can't even drive on freeways anymore. Like, I have a weird anxiety on freeways. And I can't really be in a car over 15 minutes just because I'm so used to staying at home. So, um, yeah, I would say it's affected me quite a bit. I can hardly drive to the grocery store because I have so much anxiety out of literally nowhere. So that's cool. Love that for me. Will you ever move out of LA? I mean, yeah, definitely move out of LA for sure. But I also do love LA. That's a toughie. Is Calabasas considered LA? No. Or like Malibu or like Orange County I love. But just California in general, definitely. But I don't know. There's a lot of opportunity or at least there was. No, there is a lot of opportunity still in LA. I love it here. I'm not complaining. I mean, obviously, yeah, people are always like freaking out over like people being like super fake but like I have my tight ass friend group I don't make new friends anyways I'm not that kind of a person who can make new friends yeah so I'm chilling I have my my close friend group we all live together I don't even need to leave my home COVID or not COVID we'll just do a bronze with this palette what is this RCMA yeah RCMA palette artist palette why not I like to spray it I don't know how to use this so I just pretend like I do completely wrong, but I have fun doing it, so. Okay, someone said, this is a boob job question. Now, I have a lot to say. Someone said, I'm considering getting a boob job done. What are the positives and the negatives? Depending on where you go, and like, you know, a lot of people come at me for getting a boob job because like of the whole breast, what is that, like disease that people get? I'll put it on the screen. And like, I haven't had like a crazy reaction like that, but I have wanted to make a boob job update video because I have a lot to say regarding my boob job. Could literally talk about it for 20 minutes. But long story short, I think I am going to get them redone. But I'll leave it at that. Let me know if you guys want a boob update video. It has now been like, I think two years since I got my boobs. So I would say I definitely have some experience and some knowledge about them. But yeah, I have too much to say on that note. Someone says, how is your antenna skin always so flawless? And honestly, mine just broke out really bad because I just had my period. Just girly things. But I think we do try to take our skincare pretty seriously, especially during the pandemic. We hardly ever have to put makeup on now because we're not going anywhere. So I feel like that's like helped our skin out a lot but also like just researching the hell out of products and like also skincare by Hiram I know he's like really knowledgeable with good skincare because like I mean skincare can front and say oh yeah this is the best thing it would never break you out like whatever until you use it and you're like this has literally made me break out more than I've ever broken out in my life I'm confused I thought this is supposed to fix my acne you know I don't know I also love Curology like whenever I'm breaking out like this like I have a few dots if you can see comes in clutch I like Curology a lot someone said do you feel like you have let fame get to your head I I don't think I'm famous. I don't walk around like I'm famous at all. I don't think I've changed one bit. At least all my Vegas friends tell me they're like, yeah, you haven't changed at all. Like, thank God. I'm not famous. I, I don't feel famous. If you think I'm famous, that's cool, but I don't think I'm famous. Oh my God. Someone asked, what is your go-to snack? And my favorite snack, I know this sounds disgusting and I thought it would be too. I was just, I have like a lot of weird cravings, you know, me and the baby. No, I'm kidding. Like you would think that I'm like eight months into pregnancy by the weird ass cravings that I have but if you have Trader Joe's and I know some of you don't but maybe you have something similar that you can find in your grocery store or make it Trader Joe's sells this cottage cheese I know you're already like mm -hmm. but I remember liking cottage cheese as a little kid so I was like you know what I'm just gonna try it because it's like one of those like fitness foods that people eat if you're like trying to like bulk or whatever I tried it like six months ago I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it they have this cottage cheese with pineapple chunks inside and I was like this could be weird or really really good because I love pineapple I I am a pineapple on pizza type bitch. So that is my go-to snack with like, you know those like, they have like mixed like water crackers and like different flavors of like multi-grain little like crackers from there. It's my favorite thing. I really dream about it and I'm gonna have one almost immediately after this video. I always keep them in the fridge. I keep them in my mini fridge sometimes, like in my room. I'm like either that or dick, so. Anyways, kidding, jokes. Well. 
<laughs> also, my highlighter exploded all over my makeup bag. It's just a sheen to my hands at all times when I'm doing my makeup. Ooh, there is a lot of the same question. But believe me, we will get there when I want to fucking get there. Someone asked me, what is your long-term career goal? And you know, my boyfriend asked me this like a little bit ago and I was like, I don't know, I get scared. Or like thinking of like YouTube not being a thing anymore literally terrifies me. Like my goal was always to be a YouTuber because I was obsessed with YouTube growing up and I still am. Literally, there's not one shower that I take without watching a YouTube video in the shower. I set it up right there. The thought of me not making YouTube videos anymore or like what to do after kind of scares me. But obviously like I love fashion. I feel like if I never did YouTube, then I would have been like a, worked at like an injectables place. Cause like that stuff really, really interests me too. Me and Tano were saying a couple months ago, like we should open up our own place one day. Cause like, it's just so fun. Probably just gonna be like a little like Bella Hadid probably when I grow up or like a Kendall Jenner. I don't know. I, I like to just take my shit day by day and see what happens, go with the flow. But I definitely do want to have like a clothing brand or so of some sort or a brand been working on, but we're seeing where that goes. Someone said, did you get another boob job? No, but I'm going to. <laughs> just cause I want to like fix like the shape and everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well I might as well talk about it because it's the question that I'm seeing literally everywhere. I'm getting a million questions asking, oh, are you, oh, when are you and Michael getting married? Are you still dating Michael? What the fuck happened with Michael? Did you and Gray break up? Do you and Michael live together? Are you still with your boyfriend? Are you and Michael still together? Will you and Michael move in together anytime soon? No. What's going on with you and your boyfriend? Are you still in a relationship? You and Michael still together. Love you. Um, we broke up. I honestly, I never saw this coming until recently, until probably like the past six months. We definitely just like grew apart, you know? I think things were really good and really strong for like a good two years. <laughs> But it's so cliche to say, but sometimes people grow apart and you know, things were getting a little like just nasty towards the end. Me just fidgeting because I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what is this uh, highlighter called? No, but sometimes people grow apart and we were a perfect match for a while until, you know, I started to realize that we actually weren't. And, you know, I saw people saying like, oh my God, like, did you guys actually break up? Cause it, like, if you actually broke up then like love isn't real and like, I'm never gonna find the love of my life. I'm like, okay, no, you guys really, you hardly saw anything to be honest. <laughs> Obviously I loved him. I'm always gonna love him. You know, I'll always have love for him. It just like went downhill really quickly and I haven't fully processed every Thing because it's you know stuff's been happening so quick but um yeah we broke up I'm okay just trying to do things that make me happy and stay positive and you know I, I wish him the best but I don't think it's our time I don't even know if there's gonna be an another time but that's okay that's life you know sometimes like people come into your life for certain things and to you know give you certain experiences and you know you make good memories with them I don't regret anything but I don't know maybe I'll, I'll go into depth more when I no more. I don't know. Don't worry about me though. I'm happy. Also, obviously we did have a puppy. <laughs> That's not a topic I can go into right now. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this and I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, maybe that topic we can't get into. Um, clearly you guys probably, I mean, you don't see him on my Instagram stories. I don't see him on anyone's Instagram stories anymore because I'm blocked. <laughs> yeah, that is a question I don't know the answer to just cause I don't know, I just don't know. But obviously I do live, you know, before quarantine, I was very busy and I don't wanna give that dog a bad life and which shit, I don't know what's better me or him. I I should shut up. <laughs> Next topic. Yeah, see, that one clearly I'm not over yet. Hopefully we'll see the little guy though one day. It's just not gonna be tomorrow. But am I single? No. Why would I be single? If someone said, who are you dating? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram to find out. <laughs> All right, Jesus. Okay, someone said mental state. Manic. Now, <laughs> my mental state is different every single day. Don't know what that's called, but super fun for me. No, I feel like I've been really actually happy lately and appreciating everything and everyone around me. And, you know, I'm grateful to be living where I live and with all my friends because, you know, it could be worse. A lot worse. But, you know, generally... <laughs> sorry, I dropped my beauty blender. Generally, I do try to have a positive mindset at all times. You know, everything happens for a reason. 
one and you should be grateful for every day that you have on this earth you know we only get one life i mean i don't know what you believe in or whatever but who knows if i had a life before this i don't remember it so i'm probably not gonna remember this one in my next life if that is a thing i can shut up any day now <laughs> But yeah, live every day like it's your, not like it's your last, like, but be grateful for every day that you have because you never know what could happen. I say that, I feel like I say that in every Q&A video, but trying to put you guys on to some positivity. Even though, though we're doing a little glowy look, I still need to set these under eyes. You're like, bitch, no one asked. We want tea. Workout and diet. Workout and diet videos are coming very soon with my personal trainer that lives here, Ivan Rodriguez, AKA at the Buffaloes on Instagram. Or at least his workout account is called The Buffalo. Yeah, my personal trainer, Ivan Rodriguez, has been doing me good. That sounded weird, but I meant it. What? What did she say? He's been training me very well, um, very intensely. I give him some dirty looks every single time we work out because he pushes me harder than I've ever pushed myself. But also, it's good because like, I used to work out, as you guys know, all the fucking time. But you know, pandemic and everything. I mean, we have a gym, so I didn't really have an excuse and I did stop for a while. So yeah, we're just rebuilding my muscle from before and really toning my body. I love it, I'm happy. But yeah, I will be dropping workout and diet videos probably next, like right after this. I don't see why not, because I'm trying to look good for Valentine's Day and for Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays and every days. What else? Favorite thing to eat? Ass. <laughs> Next. How can I sign up to be your personal assistant? Girl, I don't know. Do you live here? I do need an assistant though. So if you actually have a serious inquiry and have like good experience and want to be my personal assistant, email me. Ashley Schwan YT at Gmail. Skincare routine. We could definitely do an updated one for sure. Kind of got a mini one in the beginning of this. Thanks, Dragon Beauty. Full day of eating. We'll do some of those soon. Do you plan on having kids? Okay, actually, let's talk about this for a second. I've been like unaware until recently how many problems can happen during childbirth and like um i don't know your whole excuse me for my english but like pussy to asshole area like gooch maybe if you will i don't know could rip or just your vagina in general could rip or I'm gonna, what, have a C-section and cut my shit open and then sew it back up like I'm a fucking Build-A-Bear doll. I'm terrified to have kids now. And I really thought when I was like 18 years old, I was like, oh my God, I'm just getting married and just like start having kids. Blah, blah, blah. You are stupid. Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking to my old self. You are a dumb bitch. That is like, think about what you're doing to your body. I don't know. It's, I'm like, shit, am I gonna have a surrogate? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been learning a lot. I've been asking a lot of mothers questions. Literally, Amari's mom was telling me the whole process. She's like, no, I was fine because like my baby was small, but who knows, your baby could be big. And like me and my brothers were like some hefty babies. We were like eight pounds, nine pounds. My little brother was 12 pounds, I think. Biggest baby that the hospital ever had. So what, I just pray that I have small small kids, small babies. I don't know, I'm terrified, so. Yeah, I'll have kids, I don't know with who, I don't know when. Well, I have some people in mind, no, <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm like putting my stuff away. I could like maybe not, like I could just maybe just talk to you guys. Oh, I need to spray myself. <laughs> How's your gaming career going? I w obviously like was traveling for like the holidays a lot, so I didn't get to play that much, but she's starting back up. And I was playing Fortnite the other day pretty damn well. And guess what? I don't have nails. Also, if you guys don't know, follow me on Twitch, links will be in the description below where I stream with you guys usually at nighttime because it's just like crackhead hour and I like to have fun and sometimes I'm playing video games and sometimes I'm playing truth or drink which ends up in truth and then you black out <laughs> like I literally answered everything that I shouldn't have even answered but I was just drinking at, while doing it so you guys should definitely not sleep on my twitch because we have a crazy time on there every time is a crazy time are you and I've been dating what me and Ivan, unless, <laughs> I'm kidding. Think what you wanna think. I think that's it for like my makeup. I mean like I don't really wanna do like much. I guess I could put like lip liner on. Oh, let's do pillow talk. Does that look okay? Whatever. Looks good enough for me. Okay. And then we're just gonna do what? Like some of this? Oh, should we try one of the Nikita lipsticks? Is this matte? What is it? Matte liquid lip Nikita. Oh, I like this one, I think. Mmm, bad bitch. Okay. Okay. My lips are so chapped. I should not be doing this. Kylie Jenner told me that she puts hers on like this, where she like rubs the matte liquid lip like into like the crevices, or she like pats it in. Also, she she told me to get it on my teeth because it looks better like that. I don't know. I'm just listening to Kylie. She told me this over FaceTime. No, I'm kidding. Obviously. What else do we have? Also, do, do I have to like put on a cute 
cute outfit or are we like done or do we just like sit down and like chit chat and like talk some shit or ooh, is that too bright is that better i want you guys to be able to see me like, and like hang out with me because it's been a while and i'm sorry maybe i should like get dressed real quick i'll answer one more question and then i'll get dressed okay also these lashes i still can't get over so dope someone said what's your definition of quote sucking lately and why do you feel the need to apologize for it i feel like sucking lately as in like i've been sucking at like posting on youtube absolutely and also just social media in general because you know obviously i've had a lot of life changes i'm just trying to get back to work babe and like connect with you guys more and i just feel bad like i love posting and like interacting with you guys and like i always like read every single comment on every single video and pretty much respond to every single one too and i miss it if my favorite youtuber doesn't post i literally get so sad because i like look for their videos you know so i can't even imagine like me being that youtuber i just ugh. I'm sorry. How's life in the new house? Mm -hmm. You know, with 10 roommates is 10 people that could have 10 different topics of drama. I don't know, I will say my roommates suck at doing their dishes, so. Love you guys though. Oh, there's just, sh you weren't gonna tell me that there's shit on my teeth. Are you kidding? You're trying to make me look dumb, stop. How many syringes do you need to get your lips full? I'm on two, I feel like I need three more. Well, I mean, the filler dissolves, so I don't know. I feel like I get my lips done all the time because literally I feel like they're gone in like a week. I'm trying to get some silicone in this shit because my body is just eating. What's it called? Juvederm. <laughs> oh, but I usually just get one syringe. I just keep it up. I swell too much. I can't be going that crazy. Are you vegan? Oh, this is a good question because I am vegan and then not vegan every other day. Recently I have been getting back into like meal prepping and eating like like just like healthy like chicken and salmon and like turkey meat. That's pretty much it. I don't really eat like steak and pork. Like I have sausages in the morning but it's chicken sausage. Yeah and I only eat like turkey corn dogs from Trader Joe's. I just I'm not a big steak girl. I'm a cow girl. I'm not a cow girl. Only reverse. What? What did she say? <laughs> I'll be back, let me go change. Okay, so I obviously just put a hoodie on because I'm not fucking going anywhere, ever. So this is my, I mean, if you want a life update. Hi guys, life update. I have been wearing hoodies and sweatpants for every single outfit. But I love this company, Mad Happy. Makes me like, whenever I look at it or like I walk past the mirror, I'm like, I'm mad happy, babe. Try to stay happy, you guys. I'm gonna go make dinner. I had fun hanging out with you. You wanna see the full fit? It's crazy. Got Ugg slippers for Christmas. Someone said, are you and Mario still friends? Like Mario Selman. Yes, of course. Just because someone moves out of our house does not mean that we're not friends with them. Opinions on Bella and Jake. Don't care. How many tricks can Mitsu do? It's funny because he just learned a new one. He learned how to disappear out of my life. Sorry. Uh, boyfriend, boyfriend, puppy, puppy. Oh, someone asked, do I like anal? No. What's that, like, song lyric? Pussy so good, never fuck you in your ass? I relate to that. Someone said, are you okay? Yeah. How often do you work out? Every single day that I'm not hungover. Even when I am hungover, I at least try to get on the treadmill for at least, like, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how hungover I am, you know? Trying to get rid of all the chub from all the good food I ate and bad food that I ate the past couple of months. All right, so I think I've gone through pretty much all the questions because now they're just getting repetitive at this point, and I already answered those. So if you guys are not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time that I upload so that you can actually see my videos. Also be sure to leave me a comment and letting me know what videos you guys wanna see next. I know I mentioned like six different ones in this video, so let me know what you guys wanna see. And be sure to follow me on all my platforms. Subscribe to my OnlyFans, follow me on Twitch, where I stream pretty often on there, and we'll be streaming way more from now on. But yeah, all my links are gonna be down in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.